Sawadee Krap, you're checking out Phuket Extra Extra, where we take a look at the top five stories of the week. And Prime Minister Prayu Chanucha is landing in Phuket to kick off a few things on the island, including the new international terminal at the Phuket airport and some other events. Let's take a look at the rest of the top five. And Chok Chai de Tamortan, that's the name of Phuket's new governor who will take up the post starting October 1st. Governor Chuck Chai was previously the governor of Mahasara Khan province for a year. Before that, he spent three years as deputy director of the Department of Local Administration in Bangkok. Governor Chuck Chai will replace outgoing Phuket Governor Chamroen Tipaya Pongtada, who will take up the same post at Nakhon Sri Tamarat province, as announced in the annual reshuffle of high-ranking government officials throughout the country. And a mother and son in Bangkok are being held for interrogation for the next 12 days starting today as officials found that they were allegedly running one of the biggest zero dollar tour businesses for Chinese visitors, which is illegal. Now what's a zero dollar tour network? Well, it's an operation that lets Chinese tourists to pay all the costs before their Thailand holiday. They get, quote, free tours of different parts of the country, but they make stops at several gift shops, which provide kickbacks to the operators of the tour company. Police say 61-year-old Nisa Rongjung Rongsai and her 26-year-old son Wasura were operating the illegal tour business and laundering money, though they deny the charges. Authorities have already seized about 10 million baht worth of assets, including two thousand tour buses the pair were using for the alleged business, which they had reportedly garnered billions from. And finally, a noodle vendor in Phuket town is crying foul after buying spicy Somtam salad that included a cooked snake from a market outlet. The woman posted a photo of the creepy dish on social media and said she bought the salad from a local super cheap in Phuket town to serve to her customers, but what surprised her was what she found inside. The woman filed a complaint with Phuket City Police, uh, hoping local authorities will investigate. And finally, officials at Thai Premier League football club Muang Thong United are getting a bit dramatic, saying they'll dissolve the club if Thai football officials are, quote, unfair in punishing clubs because of a fan brawl. Let's backtrack a bit, since this all stems from Wednesday's second leg of the League Cup semi-final match between Port and Wong Tong, which saw a massive brawl between fans outside the stadium that included bottles, sticks, and other weapons, as four fans were seriously hurt. 300 cops, 50 soldiers, and three fire trucks were needed to bring the whole thing under control but now a Muang Tong United official is threatening to dissolve the club if the Football Association of Thailand doesn't punish both teams, quote, fairly. The declaration comes despite the fact that Muang Tong United is currently number one in the Thai Premier League and qualified for the League Cup final against Buri Ram United. So if they dissolve the club, it would put the competition's title races in peril. Welcome to the world of tight football. And Prime Minister Prayu Chanucha is landing in Phuket today to kick off a few things on the island, including the new international terminal at the Phuket airport and some other events. The PM arrived earlier today to inaugurate the new terminal, which is set to accommodate 12 and a half million passengers a year. From there, PM Prayu will head to the Duang Jit Resort and Spa in Patong for the opening of Startup Thailand and Digital Thailand. A three-day event includes exhibitions on startups, one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions, startup networking, pitching workshops, among many, many other activities. The PM is also scheduled to chat with other politicals and business leaders at Phuket Rajabat University later this afternoon before heading back to Bangkok tonight. Well, that's it for us here at Phuket Extra Extra. Catch us on Phuket Extra on Monday where we catch you up with all the news you missed over the weekend. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Hola, Cariocas Bistro and Lounge. Open daily, except Tuesdays, from 7 a.m. till midnight. Facebook Cariocas Lounge.
Buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Sawadikap. We are ready to provide international medical service with Warm Thai Hospitality. Call us at 1719.